Hello everyone. Here we are in the lab for a short video on plate lysates with lambda phage. So here's a plate with lambda phage that was incubated overnight with its host E. coli. You can see all the plaques have spread out and kind of fused together for confluent lysates. The entire top layer is clear of E. coli. So that plate was incubated about six hours. This one's overnight. You can see that some of the E. coli has been resistant to the phage and they've grown into colonies. Uh, that's okay because they're all going to get lysed anyway. But uh, we're going to work with this plate here and we're going to collect that top layer. So I like to use the cell scraper. This guy right here is pretty good. You can also use a pipette tip, just like a blue tip or a yellow tip. Um, it's a bit harder but you just take the tip, sterile tip, and scrape the agar off with a gentle scraping motion. But I like to use the cell scraper. So you want to make sure the side, you open the side that has the handle. Let's get that open. Straighten out the end there. You have a nice flat end. It's pretty easy to scrape the plate with that. So you just go along and scrape off that top layer. You want to collect just the top layer. You don't want to scrape up the bottom layer because you want to get all the lambda that's trapped in the agar of that top layer. And later on you want to purify the lambda away from the agar, so you don't want more agar, it'll make your life more difficult, reduce your yield, things like that. So you just go along gently scraping that top layer off. You do want to practice aseptic technique while you're doing this because you don't want to contaminate your viral lysate with other viruses or any other bacteria that might grow in it. So you want to be careful. So I like to just collect it up, scoop it, and place it into a sterile centrifuge tube. This 50 ml conical. Just pop it in there, and there it is. I like to go back and just give the plate a another gentle scraping just to collect as much as I can. Uh, it's because I want my lysates tighter to be as high as possible. I want my yield from this to be as high as I can. So I just go along, give it a scrape, collect anything I've missed. Sometimes it can stick to the end of this, so I like to just rub it off on the side of the tube there. Tap it down a little bit. Most of the lambda should be trapped in that agar, but I'm going to use some suspension media and just wash out the top of the bottom layer. So three mils per plate. Just gonna grab a pipette. Pipette up those three mils of suspension media. Give the plate a rinse. So just spray it down. Pipette back up. Spray it down a few more times. Just give it a rinse, collect as much phage as you can, anything that might have diffused downward. Pipe that up as much as I can. Really trying to get all of it. Get a nice yield, nice high titer. And just add that to the top agar. 
You can also rinse down the side of the tube with that. Okay. So there it is. Next step is to lice an E. coli in there with some chloroform. So I gotta check my volume here, see how much I have. And then I'll go lice it and continue on with the rest of the protocol. 